Hey guys, today we're going to be going over all the jet one-way smokes I've found so far in Icebox. These one-ways are great for stalling enemy pushes through choke points around the map and can easily net you an elimination on unsuspecting enemies. We'll start at the B site and work our way across the map. So first of all we're going to be having a look at defending underneath this tunnel area from inside the B site. So for the first one-way, if you hit it against this tunnel, from up here you have a great angle all the way back to the back of that container. And you can also do a very similar one way from down here, but this time you have to throw it a bit lower down, otherwise they'll be able to see your feet. But from here, you can still see under it all the way if they're trying to push through this angle. From the attacker's perspective, you can see that even with only this little bit of smoke, they still can't see into this box. Whereas if you're using the smoke from on the ground, you want to place it a bit lower so they still can't see underneath it to get your feet. If you know the attackers have pushed through here and are coming up towards the kitchen area, you can use a very similar one way smoke here. And as they walk past this container, they might think they'll be covered, but you'll be able to see their feet and spray through. If you're looking to use aggressive one-way smokes at the start of the round, a nice spot is to get on top of these boxes. So from on top of here, you want to jump, boost up in the air, and then glide onto the top of the containers. From here, you have a great angle onto their entrance into this corridor, but you can also still use a one-way smoke on top of this door. And as they come out, they'll think that you're trying to use a one-way smoke from this area, and there's absolutely no chance they'll be able to see you up here. As you can see from their perspective, absolutely no chance of seeing you up there. A very similar one way can be used from down here. So again, just hitting it against this wall. As they come out through the door, you'll be able to see their feet. And you can even get a one way angle as they come at the far end of the corridor around the corner. As you can see for the attackers, they still can't see all the way down unless they crouch. So if you're on top of that box at the back, there's no chance they'll be able to see you. And if instead they're coming outside of this door, absolutely no chance and you'll be able to pick them off easily. If you're playing slightly less aggressive and you've let them get into this area underneath this container, you can smoke around the corner here, giving you a one way onto anyone underneath this box. And from their perspective, they'll have absolutely no chance if they try and push out this way whilst the smoke's up. Another aggressive one way smoke at the start of the round is to boost up onto this crate, the barriers around here, and you can again use the same smoke here. And you can even see into this area and you'll be able to shoot underneath the smoke as they come around the door. You could do one specifically for the end of the corridor as well if you wanted to from here. They'll again think that you'll be holding the angle from down here. So there's three angles you can be holding this area from right at the start of the round. So if you're an attacker, be careful if you push this way. If as a defender you've been forced off this area by the attackers coming down this corridor, there's still some one-way smokes you can do to stop them pushing out. So you can use one against this wall here, either there or coming out from the back. You'll still be able to see their feet before they see you, as you can see like this further back they get the easier it is for them to see but if you're all the way back against the wall they won't be able to see you at all. If you're instead using these crates as cover you can use a one way against this wall. It doesn't protect you from this area but if they're just pushing you down this lane you have a great angle onto their feet and if you want to you can actually use these two smokes at the same time giving you total coverage on this area so either if they push out of this lane or this lane you'll be able to see their feet before they see you. You are a little bit in the open here so if you do this make sure you dash out the way before they can kill you if you get spotted. If you're attacking the B site, there are a few one ways you can use. So the first one, if they're hiding behind this box here, you can smoke against the wall. And if they try and peek you from this angle, you'll be able to see their feet. Very similar one against these crates. If they're playing inside of these crates, you can again see their feet. Also, as you're pushing into the site, you can smoke against the top of this doorway. Like this, and you have an angle onto the feet of anyone in the crate. Although be careful if they're in the back corridor towards the kitchen area, they'll still be able to see under this smoke. And the final one, if they're playing behind this column, you can smoke against the top of it like this and you'll get an angle onto their feet. And remember as Jet, you can curve your smokes around walls so you don't have to reveal yourself before using all of these. So you can still get this one way without having to peek out and play against the wall like this. You can do it from inside cover. As an attacker, once you've taken the B site, you can obviously use all the defensive smokes I've already shown you. So if you're back in this angle, you can smoke against the tunnel and you'll have an angle onto the feet of anyone coming through mid to push this way. And finally for the B site, if you know the defenders are rotating through their spawn, smoke against this wall here and you'll have an angle to their feet as they come around this corner for an easy elimination. Next we're going to have a look at defending the mid section of the map. So for the first one, if you smoke against this wall here, as the attackers come through the tunnel, you'll be able to see their feet as they push around the corner and you'll get an easy elimination on them. From their perspective, this is what they'll see. So you can see absolutely nothing. If you're trying to stop a push through this tunnel, very similar to the B site, smoke against the wall and you can see their feet as they come around the corner. This is what they'll see if they do actually try and push through the smoke. A nice little trap you can use with jet smoke here is to smoke against this wall. The attacker will think that you've missmoked or that you meant to smoke the tunnel area, but this one you can still see their feet. And as an attacker, you can see it's much more 
enticing to push through this where there's no smoke cover but as they push through they still won't be able to see you in the doorway there and you'll be able to see their feet for an easy elimination at the start of a round you can use a one-way smoke to stop an attacking push for them taking mid although you still have a massive advantage so they with an operator just holding this angle but if you use a smoke against this container as you can see as they push around the corner they'll have absolutely no chance an attacker this is all they see they'll think that you may be smoked badly or didn't get it right to the ground but instead you'll be able to see their feet for an easy elimination if you want to you can also use a second one way against this tunnel at the same time as the first and this way as they push across to try and get into the tunnel or try and get through the mid area of the map they won't have any chance because they won't be able to see you to challenge you as an attacker there are a couple of good one-way smokes in this area but because the defenders have raised up in this area even if you use a one-way smoke against this wall they'll just go slightly further back down the ramp and they'll still be able to see underneath it so the only good ones for this area are again to stop a defensive push through the tunnel you want it slightly lower than that you'll be able to see their feet as they push through or you can even do one above this tunnel so as they push out of the tunnel you'll be able to see their feet and get them you can do a similar thing from on top of this box this time just put it slightly higher up because you're higher up they won't be able to see you same thing here still be able to see their feet before they can even see you at all and if a defender is pushing through this area and they don't just stay where they are you can just use a one way like this but it would be very uncommon for a defender to be this aggressive through a smoke. Finally, we're onto the A side. This area is a little bit weird because as a defender, you can get to this platform or the attackers can even get in this room. So you can hold up a pretty offensive position inside of the A site. And from here, you can use a one-way smoke against the ball like this. And as they push around the corner, they'll have no chance. They'll be able to see if you were down here, but from up here, they won't be able to see you, as you can see. And even in this area, you could even hold the angle from down lower if you wanted to if you want to be really aggressive and play for this corner if you get here if they try and push this they'll have no chance if you're playing more defensively and you know that an attack has taken the zip wire up here you can smoke above this doorway and you'll be able to see their feet if they do try and peek this angle and as you can see as an attacker you can't see anything if you did try and push this angle or if you're holding this angle and you got smoked say from around the wall curve round you'd be able to easily take them out if they were standing there. If you're instead playing further back in the A site and you want to stop an attacking push through mid into A, if you smoke against the top of the doorway, you have an angle onto their feet as they come around the corner. And because you're higher up on the walkway, they won't be able to see you like this. If you want to play from slightly lower down, you can use your smoke against the doorway frame like this. And as they push around the corner, they won't be able to see you even if you're on the ground level like this because you're slightly raised up on this area. And finally, we're going to have a look at attacking the A site. So for the first one, if you think someone's in this area by the zip wire, you can smoke against the top of the wall. Very similar to this side. Again, see their feet. As there's so many angles to cover in this site, as you push in, the defenders could be hiding around any of the corners. So they could be in this corner. They could be hiding behind this wall here. They could even be in this corner here. You can actually use your smokes almost like a flash. So if you curve it around this wall, anyone on that box would get caught in it. So they won't be able to see you at all but you should be able to see their feet and spray them through it. Very similar thing on this side. You can curve a smoke around this wall and you'd have an angle onto their feet if they're holding that angle or you can even smoke all the way to the back and get them caught in it if they're in that corner. Very similar thing if they're behind the generator, smoke over it. And then as you push around, they'll be caught in it and they'll either be pushing out into your fire or you can push around and aggressively take them out. If you do get the spike down and you're wanting to defend it, there's a few nice spots. So if you go against the top of this box here, you have an angle onto any defender's feet as they push through mid into this area. As you can see, they can still have a view onto the floor area, but they can't see anyone on top of that box or on top of that box, so you'll be able to see their feet and take them out easily. If you're worried about defenders pushing through this doorway, just one-way smoke, and as they push in, you'll be able to see their feet and take them out, which will look like this for them. If you do want to play from down here, if you smoke slightly lower on the wall, you'll have an angle just on their feet as they come around this corner and as you can see even though it's slightly lower down unless they crouch they can't actually see into that angle if you enjoyed this video make sure to go check out my guide on all the jet jump and glide spots i found so far on this map i'll link it on the end screen thanks for watching